What is up, Lojo Fishing fam, my good fishing friends? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're doing great. So today's video, we're actually gonna be doing a little bit of fishing. This is one of my first outings since my surgery. So I'm a little weak. I'm a little hot already. <laughs> that's okay, we're gonna get some things done today. So about a month ago, as you guys know, I was down at ICAST. And while I was at ICAST, walking around, visiting with some people, some YouTubers, I went and visited my friends, the Guggen Squad, and they are my friends. I've met them multiple times, cool guys. And I was talking to one of them, I can't remember which one it was. I wanna say it was Rob from Lunkers, maybe. I don't know, I can't remember. But, as you guys know, they launched their Guggen baits right around that time, and I was asking one of them which one was the real, like, best Guggen bait. And whoever that was told me that it was the Bandito bug, okay? Now, I know, guys, I'm late to the party on these Guggen's Guggen bait review videos, and this isn't even really a Guggen bait review video. Um, I, I did that on purpose. I waited because I wanted to see kind of what everybody else thought. I've had this pack since I cast a month ago, and I haven't used them. Just kind of, yeah, I wanted to wait. I wanted to kind of let the hype subside and then go out and, like, actually do some real fishing with the lures and kind of just see how it goes. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. It, you can call it a review video if you want, but... I'm just gonna go fishing. I'm trying to catch fish. That's that's my goal every day. Maybe along the way I'll review the product a little bit. But the main thing is to have a good time on this channel. That's what we do. We catch big fish. Well, a lot of small fish too. We have a good time and that's what we do. If you guys are new to my channel and this is the first time you're seeing my bearded face, hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be right down here. Turn on the bell notification, which is the important part so YouTube will actually notify you when I drop a new video. I do have the kayak out here all rigged up, ready to go. One of my favorite large ponds, small lakes, whatever you want to call it, down here in Southeast Alabama. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do, guys. If you guys have any like information about Guggen baits, make sure you get in that comment section. You know, Let me know what you think about the Guggen baits as we're going through this video. But enough talk, I'm gonna get out on the water, give these things a try, see how they work. Let's do it. So one thing right off the bat that I just have to say, I know this doesn't really make a bait good or bad, but the packaging, I mean, I got to give it to you Guggen, <laughs> Guggen guys. This packaging is, I mean, it's dope. You know, the color scheme, the way it's laid out, I mean, it, this is legit. So I know that has no, no bearing on whether or not the lures are any good, but you got to give credit where credit's due and the packaging is just freaking dope. Get one of these suckers out. Ooh, they do they do smell pretty stinky right out of the packets. That's good. I love this color. This is the Okeechobee Crawl because this is just I've always liked this color with soft plastics. And I always have liked beaver style lures too. That's kind of what this is. It's a crawl, but it's kind of a beaver shape too. So you got the ribbed body, you got all the little claws and stuff like that. We're just gonna go with a real simple Texas, a weighted Texas rig here, guys. Nothing fancy because on my channel. We don't get fancy. We keep it simple and we catch fish, or we try to. Here we go. Got about a 3 16th ounce tungsten weight, Texas rigged. I think a 3 aught straight shank worm hook. And that's kind of the gear we're working with here. We got a 7 foot 3 medium power rod. I normally throw a medium heavy, but this is what I have a Texas rig on right now. 15 pound fluoro. And that's how we're going to get down today. I'm sure that wind sounds really good in the mic. Let's look for some brush piles to kind of toss this little bandito bug around. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, okay. First fish on the bandito bug. And he fish slapped me a few times just for good measure. Oh, you're a feisty joker. All right, so the first fish on the little Guggen Baits Bandito bug. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Fired it right into a little brush pile over there. And, you know, there, there should be a bass right there every single time. But I'll be interested to see how this thing holds up, you know, through multiple bites. Uh, that first bite didn't really seem to damage it much at all. So that's good. You know, that's a testament to its durability. Of course, you know, most soft plastic lures should be able to withstand one good bite at least, you know. 
Let me ask you guys this, now that we're out here fishing with these lures, why do you guys think that the Guggen squad and the Guggen baits have taken so much flack and get so much hate? You know, I mean, I've got my own theories, but I'd really love to hear from you guys on what you think and, you know, why they get so much hate. I mean, obviously success, success brings hate, man. I've experienced that on my own channel and it sucks, you know? I know this fishing lure may look like a different fishing lure and vice versa, but I mean, geez, I mean, a lot of these lures look like, like one another, you know what I mean? So it's not like, I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think. Get in the comment section and enlighten me on why the Guggen baits in particular receive so much hate. That feels like a fish. <laughs> that little sucker was running with it. <laughs> and he was running right at me. All right, buddy, I'm gonna get you free in just a second. Ouch, he's got some sharp little teeth. What a stud, absolute tank monster. <laughs> All right, so the bandito bug is certainly doing well so far. I haven't been out here too long. And I don't plan on staying out here very long because I am still recovering. I know I've said that a million times, guys, I'm recovering from surgery. I'm not trying to throw a pity party, I'm just stating a fact, I'm still recovering. So I'm not going to stay out here much longer. It is getting beat up a little bit, but it's still in, still in good shape. You know, still can be placed on the hook correctly. You know, I keep seeing bass bust out here. Oh no, what was that? I keep seeing bass bust like 10 yards off the bank. I keep, I'm tempted to, to see if this thing works like just casting it out and swimming it, you know. It does have a lot of little appendages and stuff, so that would make me think it would do really good swimming. So we may try that too. How much you guys want to bet that my third fish is going to be in this brush pile right in front of me? I'm willing to bet quite a bit of money. Oh, there he is. Go! <laughs> there he is. What did I tell you guys? <laughs> I mean, a brush pile that good looking, I mean, that's not a surprise to anybody. Right at the bottom of the lip. That's probably the bigger one so far. Thank you, buddy. I figured you'd be in there hiding in that grass. Look at that brush pile right there. I mean, just randomly out in the water. I mean, that's as good of a bet as you're ever going to get. You know, if you're looking for fish and you're struggling, find them, baby. Try to find some vegetation somewhere that's just off by itself, you know. Bandita bug standing up pretty good. That's three bites, and it looks pretty good. Now it's it's you know it's it's opened up some right there from the hook sets, and from the top. But I think this could be rigged again. But I am going to get off the water for a minute because I got I got that heading towards me. I just checked my phone. There's some gnarly weather heading my way. Let's go run down the road, get something to eat, and talk about these Guggen baits a little bit more real quick. Also, stay tuned if you want to get some free Guggen baits. <laughs> oh, boys, we got out of there literally just in time. I mean, the bottom fell out as soon as I got my kayak loaded up, and as soon as I got my, my little lunch plate right here, it started raining. Well, the rain has subsided. All of a sudden, now the sun's back out. That's how crazy the weather is in the south. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here because I'm feeling a little, uh, feeling a little tired. You know, still in recovery mode, so I'm not gonna push it too much today. But the Guggen baits did pretty good. The Bandito bug, I love the color. I did like the shape of the lure. It held up pretty well. We got three bites. We caught three fish in about an hour and it stood up pretty good. I think it could have made it through one more good bite and I think we would have had to move on to a new lure. If you're still watching and you want to win that pack of Guggen baits, because guys look, you know, I give away as much as I possibly can to you guys because I love you so much and you're the best subscribers on YouTube. So I'm constantly looking for ways to give back to you guys. So that's why I'm giving away this pack of Guggen baits. So all you have to do to get in on it is go to Facebook and follow and like my page on Facebook at lojo.fishing. 
I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys don't have all the social media outlets, so if you don't have Facebook, I'm terribly sorry. But we kind of rotate. That way, you know, if you have at least one social media outlet, then you have a chance of winning any giveaway. Because I do them on Twitter, I do them on Instagram, I do them on Facebook, and I do them on just on YouTube. So this is going to be a Facebook giveaway. All you have to do is like and follow my page on Facebook. There'll be a link right in the top of the description. Make it easy for you. And that's it. Once you're, if you're, if you've already liked my page, if you're already following the Facebook page, you're good to go. I'm going to pick a random winner. And I will announce it in a few days on Facebook. So, if you win, just shoot me a DM or shoot me an email or something letting me know that you won, and I'll get the baits right out to you. But guys, remember to get in that comment section today and let me know why you think Guggen baits and just the Guggen squad in general catch so much heat for making this new these new baits. Okay, make sure you get in the conversation down below in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. For the channel that is ever growing and that is because of you guys i'm out of here on to the next fishing adventure fist bump see you guys later